Pedal Echoes has partnered with Black Bobbin, a Chicago guitar cafe offering a marketplace of gear and coffee. Enjoy a free 12-ounce bag of coffee with the purchase of any exclusive by entering code PEDALS during checkout at blackbobbin.com. Welcome, my name is Matthew Stevens and this is Pedal Echoes, a discussion about what pedals inspired an artist's creativity for new music. My discussion with Christian Francisco, Joe Aguda, and Bernard Barcella of the band Wander happened in the evening of January 18th, 2021. This is episode 14. Christian Francisco, Joe Aguda, and Bernard Barcella are members of the post-rock band Wander from Oakland, California. Their fourth LP, Home, will be released in September 2021 via Headless Queen Records. Welcome to Pedal Echoes. Hey, thanks for having us. <laughs> Thank you for having us. How Wander got started? Me and Ryan, uh, you know, we're brothers, so we've been jamming since we were little. Um, Joe joined the band uh, around 2008, and we started making music, post-rock music, in 2010. Bernard joined in 2012, so that's kind of, we've been playing together for like eight years to a decade. It's it's kind of hard to tell, you know, when it's it's literally like our, our high school band, more or less, just like prolonged into adulthood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we technically started playing music together when we were... Well, when Christian and I were 13. So along the way, you've recorded a few records with the band. This forthcoming one, Home, will be the fourth, is that correct? So Home is our, our fourth LP. We decided to do a live stream series for of our of our discography, which is like really awesome to think about that that we have like so many songs that we can actually pull something like this off. We released three songs that were just gonna be exclusive to this tied in with this time. It won't be on the next record, but like if you pre order the new record, you're gonna get those songs and, and a poster. So for the recording <laughs> of home, can you guys walk me through your setup? The last few records we actually recorded with Jack Shirley, who did like Deaf Heavens albums. So we we're going to switch it up this time. And uh, we decided to go with our friend Ryan Ellery, who worked on this band called Mom Jeans, their record, um, which is like more pop punk and emo. Um, but we just thought it would be cooler to switch it up and, and record like not live to tape, but but actually just like, like working within a DAW more. Yeah, um, sometimes it's nice to get a new perspective like that. Yeah, it was totally a different different uh thing altogether can you guys walk through uh, like what pedals you're using on the record the first pedal on my board is a korg pitch black advanced tuner i like it a little bit better than the boss tuners because the lcd screen's a little brighter and if i'm ever playing at an outdoor stage or in like a dark venue with a lot of fog um it's really helpful to be able to see what note you're playing the second pedal on my board is escape velocity by watson electronics it was hand-built by my friend Christopher Stern from the band Unconditional Arms. It's practically a tube screamer, but it has a low and high boost if you want it. The next couple of pedals I have on my board are actually pretty standard and boring. I have a Boss RV6 and a DD7 by Boss as well. I use the RV6 for more subtle reverb. And the last pedal on my chain is actually a T2 by TC Electronics. And I use that for more of a luscious type of reverb that kind of blankets everything for louder sections. Joe, what pedals are you using? Uh, so there's the usual Boss TU3. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusively, that's the only thing you use. <laughs> no, but uh, I have the uh, Dark Glass uh, B7K Ultra, 
a boss RV5 that I've been meaning to update to an RV6. I have um, a mini Hall of Fame. Can you guys tell me if you had to pick, uh, say, three pedals or two pedals that give you your sound, what would you say that would be? For me, it would definitely be uh, the Hall of Fame. I so you've seen that in like the uh, RV6. You know what? It's very interesting because like I've changed up my reverb settings so much over the past, like over the course of all the albums. I used to, I used to actually have a Strymon, a uh, Big Sky, and that's that's all over our first record, Morning. That's cool. How about you, Joe? Would you say the uh, Dark Glass? The Dark Glass definitely has defined how the way that I approach bass in the band. Very cool. Given like guitars and basses, what do you guys use? I have a. 19 i think it's like 1979 fender mustang for the first record i used a um just a stratocaster how about you bernard i've been using the uh a fender jazz master and joe how about you primarily i play um it's a fender jazz and i have a jaguar as a backup wait joe you're still using the same bass that we got from that church it's it's the same bass uh well it's the same body i uh changed out the neck because i cracked that in half wait what of course yeah. you did <laughs> yeah, no, I uh, <laughs> like it, it was cracked uh, the I, neck and he hit it from everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you put the first record out with other people's records, and then now you're doing your own thing, which, which is, is awesome. awesome. Headless Queen Records is a label I started in 2013, mainly to release Wander's physical formats. But in the past, I've released a compilation album with "The World Is a Beautiful Place" and "Free Throw." I've also done cassettes for the band Floral. I put out a split LP with a band called Young Lovers. They're post-rock and from LA. Uh, I've also worked with the band called Yufi, which is an electronic post-rock project out of Seattle. Another artist I work with from the Pacific Northwest is Slow Disco. They're a math rock group from Portland, and I put out their first EP on cassette. Can you tell me anything else that you may have coming up? I mean, in the meantime, um, we have our Glass um, full album live stream on February 6th fifth and then full album live stream on march 5th and yeah we're really excited to play for everyone i'm, I'm really happy about how the turnout for everyone tuning in last time yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun and where can people find tickets for that it's a free event give us a follow on twitch twitch.tv slash wander band you can also find all this information on wanderband.us and uh yeah we restream on twitch on facebook and youtube well thank you guys for being on pedal echoes yeah, thanks for uh, having us. To find out more about Wander, please visit wanderband.us or wanderband.bandcamp.com. Home will be available September 2021. Hi, this is Christian from Wander. Check out our new song, Unwind. It's a pre-order exclusive from an upcoming album called Home.